Hi, welcome to our channel. Today I'm down here in the bottom land and I've got my I've got my uh, travel dowsing rods with me and they're just a piece of brazing rod uh, with a, a bend in it about 13 inches out and with about a four inch bend in them vertical. I put a McDonald's straw around them. Today I'm going to do something totally different. I'm going to try to do a little experiment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've never asked to, to find any water before but I'm going to try to see if I can find some water and I'm down here in the bottom land so there should be water everywhere and I'll, 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 I'll ask I'll ask the dowsing rod a question first. I'll, I'll ask for a. Can, I'll ask. Can you can you please can you please give me a ley line? Okay, they crossed right here. So right there is a ley line. Lost my shoe. And I'll I'll go this way. Could I, could I have another ley line, please? Right here, there's another ley line. And that's about right, that's about, about eight or nine feet apart. Okay, now I'm gonna try to, so see me. I'm gonna try to ask for some water. Can you, can you give me, can you show me a source, can you show me a source of water? Can you show me a source of water? Okay, it likes right here. Okay, now I, I put a stake in the ground there. Now here, here's what I, here's what I want to. This is what I really want to find out now. Is I want to get a different angle here where I'm going to be going to. I'm going to ask, how deep is the water? See me out here? Right here, right here is the stake where it said there's some water. And there, there's water everywhere here because we're, we're in the bottom lands. So that's, that's not surprising. No. Could you cross, could you please cross the rods at the depth of the water from this from this stake right here. Did you cross at the depth of the stake. The depth of the water from the stake. Okay, now it's crossing right here. I'll stick my stuck my rods in the I stuck my rods in the ground right here in front of me. I'll put a, let me put a stick where they're at. All kinds of bamboo sticks laying around here. Okay, right, right here's where it said this is the depth. Now, if this, from, from right here to that stick is about 20 feet, that's about how deep the water is here. And I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. About 21, 21 of my foot lengths, not my sandal length, but my feet length. So that would be very, very close to 21 foot or 22 foot. Now that's where, that's where the water is in my well. I just talked to a local a second ago 
he said the water around here should be five fathoms, which would, a fathom is usually around five or six feet. It's usually a arm stretch out. So it'd be 25, 30 feet. So uh, that, the, the main thing I wanted to do was, I, I, was, I did some reading the other day about, let me turn this way. I did some reading about um, some different things about dowsing and it's very interesting the things you can get the, the rods to do. Um, when my daughter uses the rods, she can ask questions. She can say, is, is the water deeper than 20 feet? And if it, if it is a yes, the rods will just cross, right? They just should be holding them out. Those just, the rods will just cross. And she'll say, is the, say like here, she say the water, is the water deeper than 40 feet? So the, the rods would spread out and say no. And then she'll narrow it down until she gets it till till it says is this is this the depth and it'll say yes again for her and so like here she probably would have got 21 22 feet and then you can also do the same for the amount of flow of the water things like that um i was just i was just really curious about this over here and like you can see here now here's my here's my stick right here this is how deep it said it was right here and this is where the rod said the water was at. And that is from here, from here to there, it is 21 feet. So that would make perfect sense. Now, do I know that for sure? No, I'm not, I didn't dig a hole here. But I can tell you, everywhere that I know, my well's on the same, on the same plane as this right here. The guy I just talked to, he has two wells on the other side of that corner by those cows down there, and they're both in the bottom, and his, his wells are both 22 or 23 foot deep also. So, uh, it answers my questions. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I've got my dowsing rods here. I'm keeping them about shoulder length apart. Uh, the first thing I always do with my rods is I ask for, for a ley line. Can I have a ley line, please? Boom, there's a ley line right there. Could I have another ley line, please? There's another one, about eight or 10 feet apart. Okay, and I'll go back here. So I know that, I know the dowsing rods are reacting to me and working. So let me go see if I can find a, ask, can, I, can you please show me a source of water? Can you please show me a source of water? Right here it's saying. Put a stake in the ground here. And then, now I'm gonna ask, can you show me the depth of the water? Can you please cross at the depth of the water from the stake? Can you please cross at the depth of the water of the stake? And it's showing right here, just crossing right here. So I'll put a stake in there. Now we'll go from right here to the other stake. This would be just about right too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my heel to toe. And I'm just gonna, I'm not using my sandals. I'm going, just going heel to toe. So that, that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So it's saying right there that about 26, 25 or 26 of my actual foot lengths, um, I'd have to get out a ruler and measure it, but they're size 14, so I think that would be at least 12 inches or so. And I just, I did experiment over here, the same thing. And over here it said right here was the source of water, right here. And over to that stake out here, 
was 22 feet of my foot length, right to there. So that'd be pretty close to the the same results. So that's 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 dowsing 101 uh, for you guys. Again, all you need to do is make a, a, a cheap little pair of rods with um, a, a coat hanger, a piece of electrical wire. Uh, I'm using, uh, I don't know if they're bronze or what they are, brazing rods. And uh, start out, mess around, ask some. The easiest way to start with your dowsing rods is to say, is just first just walk around with, with them with an open mind. Don't think about water or anything like that. And on my, in my yard, and in fact, any, everywhere I go, they cross at the, the ley lines. And the best thing you can do is say, just quietly yourself, can I please have a ley line? And I guarantee you, you won't, you're not going to walk more than eight or nine feet, they're going to cross. And then stop for a second and say, can I please have another ley line? And keep walking, within eight or ten feet, they'll cross again. And you keep doing that, it'll do every ten feet as far as you can go. And then if change directions 180 degrees and go the other way, and there should be ley lines going the other direction every eight or ten feet. And then what's really fun is if you put put out some sticks or some stones out where you're getting your ley lines where they cross, where you get an intersection. Let's say let's say right here, right, right here is your is your intersection for your, your two different ley lines. You've got one one ley line going this way, one ley line going this way. Put your rods on top of it like that, and then turn your rods 23 degrees clockwise, like that. Get out a compass, and this will be this will be north, north, and south, east, and west, exactly to your compass at 23 degrees off the ley lines, and that's that's that takes in the. Um, magnetic declination and stuff like that, but it'll go exactly to what your compass is because the compass goes to true north north south east and west not to the magnetic north not to the um, The declination north south um, But that's the fun of it, but you can do that kind of stuff you can uh, you can find Abandoned graves you can tell you can go to a, a cemetery and tell um, What graves are men and women you can Ask questions of the rods. Like I, I how I, I convince people is I'll, I'll, I'll be with a group of people, and they're, they ask, they're asking me to go find something what they're looking for, and I'll, I'll find whatever they're looking for, but they still don't really quite under, understand or they don't believe what's going on. So then I'll say I'll see someone that say that has a white pants or or say a, a, a yellow shirt or something like that. I'll walk over with the rods, and I'll ask a question. Does that does this man here have a black shirt on? And the rods will instantly spread apart and say no. And then I'll say, is the sky blue? And then this, the rods will cross yes. And then people, when they, people see that, they're kind of amazed. And then a lot of times, I, I usually bring several sets of rods with me. I'll, I'll hand out rods to people and let them walk around and look for the ley lines. And I've never seen a person yet that couldn't find the ley lines. So just something kind of fun to do and to show people the the adventures of the universe or the world or whatever's going on. I don't have any idea how it works. I'm reading a book right now that says it's just all coincidence. It's all our hand movements and somehow we're sensing things below the ground and we're we're moving our hands somehow to cross the rods and uncross the rods and stuff. I, I don't I don't buy that but um, that's what this book is saying. But I think it's there's just some weird little power that we don't know about. And uh, so far my rods have been 100% accurate and uh, or not 100% in the ballpark of 100% and uh, the only thing the only thing we've we've been able to confirm on on things is questions we've asked so far we can't I can't tell you that the water is is right here I can't tell you the water right here and I can't tell you that it's it's 22 feet deep unless we dug here but I do know for a fact that the water at my well which is only maybe 250 meters yards that way on the other side of this hill at the exact same elevation as this is at 20 is 22 feet and the guy's well on the other side of that hill there at the same elevation here in the same field around this corner his wells are 22 and 25 feet he has two of them there 
I had 22 feet for this well, 25 feet for this well over here for depth, for that, for the water. So it, it, to me, it means something. And again, you have to believe in it, I guess, but um, I have no reason not to. So that's all I got for now. Take care, everybody. Um, go outside, have some fun. Remember, hashtag 22 a day. We need to help out our veterans and take care of them. Uh, find a, a place to so they can have someone to talk to so that we don't have to have this gigantic wasted life. There's no reason why 22 Americans should be taking their own lives every day. And these are service people that have, that have helped us, so we, we, we owe it to them. So take care, everybody. Go outside, have some fun, and by all means, be safe. Uh, watch your back, guys. This is uh, some bad times coming, so take care.